Good morning, everyone. I am uh, Deepa Murukesh from Department of English, Dr. S. N. S. Rajalakshmi College of Arts and Science. I am here to deliver a video series on British English literature, background of British English literature, and also a few essays about uh, with, uh, British English literature. So here, uh, my essay is about of Fran of revenge by Francis Bacon. So here, uh, this is a continuation of my previous video, and here Bacon, uh, he expresses that, he suggested that uh, when a person is going to take a revenge, he can very well inform his enemies in prior, so that the enemies, they may find time to repent to you. So it is, he says that again, he says that it is really good uh, for a person to repent then to get hurt and Bacon extends his argument about the wrongs that cannot be pardoned. So these wrongs usually come from our beloved friend as one can forgive the enemy from whom we can expect such wrong but these sort of friends are like snakes who stabs at your back and doesn't give you a moment to understand what they have done to you. So here uh, Bacon is especially talking about uh, the person of a friendship. So here he says that we often forgive our enemy, but we don't forgive our friends. So that's what he is making a point out here. The author quoted the cosmos, the Duke of Florence, that we have read that we are commanded to forgive our enemies, but we have never read that we are commanded to forgive our friends. So, but still Bacon says, we should not be so much inclined towards avenging them as we are satisfied to take all good deeds from God. Why we are not happy to take evil from him too? So we should forgive even our friends and consider them an evil from God. So here he is giving you a very clear and good notion about uh, persons who stab persons, those who are called as your friends and those who stab at your back. So here we have heard many things about a person, very wise men saying that please forgive your enemies. So we never heard about forgiving our friends. He Bacon trying, he trying to convince us that the author quoted the cosmos, the Duke of Lawrence, he, uh, here he has commanded to forgive our enemy friends also. So we know that life is coined with two sides. One is good and another one is bad. So often we take good as granted by God and we never take evil or bad as granted by God. So here he, they can try to suggest people that forgive our friends. So take both what is good and evil from God as even. So just consider uh, even your friends, consider them as an evil from God. It's such a wonderful notion by Francis Bacon about uh, of revenge. So a person is always seconds to take revenge and searching for a good moment to take while keep his wound evergreen and will never let them cure. In such condition, the only loss is to suffer, which would otherwise kill and move on focusing more on his present and future than to remain buried in his past. So uh, here again, um, Bacon says that, so those now there are person, persons who really want to take revenge. That's where they feel very convinced and they are focused. Uh, so, and they are searching for God moment to take, will keep his wound evergreen and will never let them cure. So in such condition, the only loss to the sufferer would be otherwise heal and move on or focus more on his present and future than to remain buried in his past. So he again suggests that please don't be buried in the past. Uh, Bacon lastly ends the essay by arguing that public revenge. So here he focuses more on the public revenge, where he says that public revenge is really okay. The most past past for bad leader or rules is fortunate. He gives example of the public death of Julius Caesar, 
Platinex and Henry III of France. So I'll continue in my next video. Thank you.